specific, of course, about the, the uh, role of Mapetla and your identification there? Uh, I played Mapetla Muhapi in Cry Freedom. I was offered the part. Um, when I was offered the part, I um, was optimistic, but obviously discovered on reading the script that Mapetla, like all the other black characters in the film, were reduced to something very minor, very thin, and uh, characters who you don't get a three-dimensional, a three-dimensional idea of at all. Mapetla Muhapi, of course, I never knew him, having lived out of South Africa for all of these years. But I certainly knew of his reputation, along with the reputation of the other people involved in the Sasso, the Black Consciousness Movement, uh, etc. It wasn't simply Steve Biko who represented that whole mood that uh, developed among black students in the, particularly from the mid 60s, the late 60s. Um, Mapetlo Mahapi, Abram Tiro, uh, Mampela Rampele, these were all individuals, powerful individuals in their own right. As I say, Mapetla in the script and Peter Evans in the script and most of the, all of the black characters in the script, I would say, including Steve Biko, do not come across as fully rounded human beings not anything like as strongly as Donald Woods does. Uh, Donald Woods uh, actually has a family, he has a wife, he has a children, they have ups and downs, um, they have concerns beyond the crude politics which um, generally is being represented in terms of South African history. So I played my betla but there wasn't a great deal to play with. What were the feelings among the uh, black members or, or uh, the black actors about this? Did you discuss it among yourselves? And did, you, did you talk to Attenborough about it at all? The black actors, actresses in the film discussed it at various times. Um, I was one of the London-based actors who was um, selected from there by Richard Attenborough. Um, we also met up when we were in Zimbabwe with, of course, Denzel Washington, who came from the United States, with Zakes Mukai, who came from the United States, with um, local Zimbabwean actors who played smaller roles. Uh, I think we all had feelings about it to different degrees. Uh, didn't particularly discuss it in detail with Denzel, who was in it on a particular basis. Um, I think a lot of the younger Southern African actors and the people involved in the production were very conscious of the fact that this was very underrepresentative. And certainly a lot of the people, for example, who were living in Zimbabwe or non-actors who I discussed it with in London before accepting the role or even after accepting the role, people who had been involved with Biko with Mapetla Mohapi in the Black Consciousness Movement felt very strongly that it was um, uh, not good enough. Uh, 